Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about how you can work with the embedded documents in Mongo Engine and what you are using it for and why it's pretty uh, neat when you're um, working with the multi-level deep uh, JSON documents uh, in your Mongo database. And I have using the code from one of the previous video. Uh, so it's it's easier to us to, to work with. I'm working with the, the post document here and uh, I have the app inside here. So it's connecting to my database uh, locally and I create just a few few data here. So we, we save a lot of time. And the embedded document, it's using like when we have the meta tag here and you need to define what should be inside uh, the, the meta data. If I'm just uh, release this code for you, and I have an idea of what is happening, I can have a title, I can have a description, I can have a, it could be encoding uh, like this, and I can just put it inside, no problem here. But you have no kind of clue what happening and why it's happening, and that's why we need to use uh, embedded documents in, in Mongo Engine, because then the the other developers know what happening and and what the purposes this field is and like the, the anothers here we can do whatever we want it could be a string it could be an object id it could be anything we can put in some list and if you use the embedded document you can define which type of values you want inside this one and that's what i want to show to you today and i really hope you want to subscribe to this channel you can do it in the right corner on the thing below and if you have any questions about this video, you are really, really welcome to to smash the, the comments uh, field so I can try to answer all your questions. And if I don't know about the questions, I will try to uh, research about them and then maybe make a new video about that. Thank you to have you here today. And I really appreciate you, you take the time to, to learn with me. So let's go and start. And the first thing we want to, to make an embedded document for, it should be the metadata. And the, f the way we do this is just create a class, call it meta post meta uh, meta tag, and then we need an embedded document. Just say pass embedded document, and then we need to embedded fields. And here we go to say embedded document. That's meaning that's the document we want to embed to the to the system. And let's say the, the meta tag should be a title, because then we have a meta title, should be a string field. Then we have a description, should be a string field, and that's it. We don't need anything else. Or do we? We could have the encoding. Encode, a string, and we can say the default should be hf8. So if you don't say anything, then we will say encoding should be which of eight. That's fine for me. It will help the browser pretty much. Then we can go in down to the dictionary here and say uh, embedded embedded document field. And the only thing we need to that is embedded. So that's how we do this. How we embed it. And the next step we want to, to do is uh, fill out the list field and the anonymous fields. And then we need to use the choose uh, function uh, for the string field so I can show you how that's working. So let's create the, the category. Here we go up here. Category. And that's embedded document two. And what we want to save inside this category. I think it will be nice to have the, the category ID, its object ID field, I think. And if you use it, that's fine. And then we will have the title. And this is a string field. It's because when you're working with the a NoSQL database, it's it's very good to to have a, a reference field, 
and then the static field so if the let's say the the category will change the name then we can go in inside every point where we point to the category we can rename the titles but when we load it out it's much easier to have the title uh, inside here so that's why we have the title and we do the same we can just say whoops embed field and we can just say post category and then we will be sure this one should be object id so what we say here it's the embedded uh, the categories could be a list field of the post category it cannot be anything else it's need, need to be a dictionary where we have an id and a tile inside it's, it's not allowed to be anything else then we have um, the category uh, sorry that another the another is just a list of uh, object ids so we point to to uh, to a user fields and something like that then we are coming for the status it should be a, a choose field and uh, that's what it is it's choose it's pretty easy so we can just go up here and say post status and then a table we have pending we have uh, published and then we have um, uh, deleted and draft I think I think that's correct I need to translate it from Danish uh, to uh, English that's correct that's what the word I want to use and the only thing you can uh, you need to do now is just point it inside here and that's mean if the status is different from the choose statements um, then it will not be allowed to use and that's a way you can use enum you know, inside this one so that's I think that's it and uh, yeah I don't want to, to test this now because I will create a video how we can use anything but let's testing about we don't have uh, broken any kind of syntax so just adding it but yeah invalid anyway, document field it's because we have it here it's not a field so let's try one more time and see about the syntax is correct <clears throat> the duplicate key it's it's here so let's just drop it out drop collection Drop collection. Do it again. It should be smooth now and pretty well, yeah. And you can see we have nothing inside here, so that's that's perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy, and I hope you want to subscribe to this channel. Of course, go down in the right corner and, and, and hit the ding below, and then you can like it this video and you can hit the comments if you have any questions. And of course, I really hope. You want to share this video and pull for a playlist and and then I yeah I really hope you want to to watch the next video where I will explain how you can create uh, data into all the embedded documents it's a uh, it's not just to say point uh, like this and say uh, point uh, uh, point meter the title is equal to something no you can't do this and I will show you how you can do it in the next video. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.